All right, praise God. God bless you. Um, for those that are watching, um, my name is Bernie. I'm, I'm recording for the Lions Den officially. Now, the Lions Den International Ministries. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, also, the Lions Den Cafe. And um, we just want to bless everybody. I'm doing spontaneous recordings of people that I meet or my friends. So if you can, this is a dear friend of mine. Um, can you please state your name? Eddie. Eddie. Um, Eddie. Um, I know. <laughs> I know that we've 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 ministered a lot. <clears throat> we've ministered a lot for years. Can you can you tell me what has been the highlight? of you ministering outside for God? What are the things that grab you that, that you know that God shows his face in the midst of you ministering outside? Are you talking about in the streets? Or are you just general ministry? Uh, I guess the manifest presence of Jesus. I think that's the highlight where um, it's more like uh, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm walking around and I'm just being a steward of His presence um, and making sure that I am attuned, in tune, in tune with Him and um, He's resting on me and that when I do talk to an individual, it's more than the words that are coming out of my mouth, but it's the atmosphere that I carry that stills um, anything that can be turmoiling an individual. I guess that's the best thing for me to actually, um, that's the highlight. I mean, there's there's drastic supernatural stuff like manifestations and power of God and angels and demons and all of this cool stuff that you could actually <laughs> see with your eyes. But I think the actual highlight is expressing uh, the intimate environment and uh, having people step into it. What is the ministry that God is calling you to be? Um, well, I don't like to label it because uh, I just don't like to label it, honestly. I really don't. Okay. Like to, I, I could then you. where does he have you now? Okay. Oh, well, let me share the heart of it, okay? Um, <laughs> the, the main thing that God has, I feel like God has called me to do is uh, strategically um, raise up an army of, uh, of kingdom-minded people that will take dominion and release heaven on earth. Um, the, the ministry that God is calling me to raise up is called Freedom Army Ministries, FAM. Um, and uh, it's uh, F-A-M, Freedom Army Ministries. The word FAM actually is an acronym for family. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6 is the spirit of Elijah. Um, in the last days will uh, um, we'll, we'll, uh, set the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children back to the fathers. Um, or if, it, if that doesn't happen, um, the, uh, the earth will be infected with a curse. And I believe the fatherless generation is the curse. Um, but the hearts of the fathers to the children, the hearts of the children back to the fathers, creates the foundation of the building block of, uh, of the government of God, where the family structure is going to be the foundation of reformation and revolution that uh, is going to hit the seven mountains of society um, where um, where it's been happening for years and decades and centuries where the places of influences in the mountains of society have always been fought for in the spirit realm angels, demons, people, uh, uh, evil people, wicked people, nice people, uh, happy people, all been fighting for these realms of influences. Back in the days, it was kings. Now it's pre uh, now it's uh, presidents. Um, there's there was all, we also got media, 
um, education. These are the several mountains. I don't want to mention all of them because I probably don't even remember all of them at the top of my head. But, um, I mean, it's a strategic uh, approach in um, uh, raising up this last day generation where the army is not going to be from a pulpit. It's not going to be an individual from a pulpit, but it's going to be covert ministries where it's going to infect society and it's going to be teachers that are going to be revivalists. Lay, uh, laying hands on a kid that just recently swallowed a penny or something like that. Right? The dude's been uh, out for about five minutes, completely purple, and the, the teacher lays, lays hands on the kid and the kid coughs up the penny or something ridiculous like that, you know, resurrects a kid. And it's a part of a, a supernatural lifestyle, a part of a natural society, you know, where it's going to be a revolution and it's not going to be a Moses and a pulpit. Anyways, oops, I'm going to keep my going, sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good, it's all good. Um, for those that are lost, that see this, yeah. speak your heart and let them know why God is the only way. Uh, um, uh, God um, has uh, has the ability to capture hearts. Um, I can't speak for every other individual outside in the world, but I can't speak for myself. The reason why I've been captivated is because my heart is very much like a fish outside of the water. I felt like that before Jesus. I needed love. I desired love. I would seek it in stupid behavior. I'd go out, clubs, and girls, and friendships that were completely ridiculous. I even tried to find it in starting problems with other people, trying to fight them so at the end I'd be able to get an acceptance and then draw a crowd that would try to emanate or replicate the love that I've been desiring, but it's really a front, you know, so I crack me and put me in the hands of Jesus and that's what you got. You know? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, best way to describe yourself in one word. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I want to just, I, I just want to say thank you because um, a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing from now on reflect and I really want the connection of the people around me to be with me. And I want to say thank you because, you know, throughout everything that we've been through together, you know what I'm saying, we've stood tight. And I just want to let you know, of course, we got our work cut out for us, but um, it's not going to be the ending. You know what I'm saying? So, um, one last word. What do you What do you want to say to them before you get off? Um, rise up. Rise up. Stir it up inside of you. Your destiny and potential is hidden inside of you, and light reveals it. Uh, Truth is light. Take that truth, pull it out of you, and become what you're destined to be. God is calling up an army to start a revolution, and don't waste time. The enemy can't take away your destiny, but he can waste your time. Get up. Amen. That's hot. All right, man. God bless.